Welcome back to Outriders. In this video, I just want to talk to you quickly about the loot drops in Expeditions and the Elite Enemies and exactly how they work. I recently posted a video and I spent over an hour on the same Expedition. It was Marshland Caverns Tier 12. I spent roughly an hour and two minutes on that Expedition just to see what happened. I've had people saying I'm clickbaiting, it's a pointless video because everything is based on time and Alphas don't class as Elites. If Alphas are not classed as an elite enemy in this game, then there is another bug that I have experienced that has led me to believe that Alphas are elites because as I was killing Alphas, I believe I was on Archways of Enoch, there were only Alphas around me and as I was killing them, one by one, I had an accolade pop up as complete for killing a certain amount of elite enemies. So if they don't class as an elite, there was a bug with the accolade if there is no bug regarding the accolade, then alphas do actually class as elite enemies. This is all just a confusion because they've made the systems and mechanics in this game incredibly, like, stupid in my opinion. None of it really makes sense. Like, it's not an easy thing to figure out at all. But in terms of the loot drops as well, because people said, well, what are you expecting from this? You're going to get loads of blues. You didn't get a gold medal. The loot drops you get as your bonus reward for an expedition are based on the enemies you kill, the amount you kill. And the medals simply just give you a bonus drop and they have a higher percentage of being a better rarity. So if you look at challenge tier 15, your bronze is going to give you two drops with a certain percentage for rarities. Your silver... Again, random percentage, your legendary will be 12.5% chance, that will be on 3 drops. Your gold, 75% chance purple, 25% chance legendary on 4 drops. So when you open that drop pod, and you've got a gold time on tier 15, your very first 4 drops will have a 25% chance of being legendary. Everything else that comes out of that drop pod after those initial drops... That is all based on the enemies you are killing in the expedition. So if you sit there for six hours, you're going to get a lot of drops. And that is the exact reason I got 42 drops on that hour long run. Being two purples, 40 blues. I should have definitely, in my opinion, got more purples. I'm not saying I deserved any legendaries. Although your legendaries aren't locked behind gold, silver and bronze because I've had legendaries drop for failing expeditions. I've had legendaries come out of the drop pod after the initial drops. It's completely RNG. The more enemies you kill in an expedition will mean more drops you get. But there is nothing to say that they're going to be a high rarity. It's completely random and that's why I run that expedition for an hour long. So sitting there just being ignorant saying that I'm clickbaiting and the video is pointless... People should have paid more attention. The ones that have sat there and said that, they should have paid more attention because I had an accolade unlock for killing an alpha that was awarded to me for killing a certain amount of elite enemies. And I also had 42 drops, whether they were blue, purple, gold, or I don't know, bloody red. It doesn't matter what rarity, I had 42 drops. That's because it's based on how many enemies you killed. I killed 798 enemies. If you go and run Boomtown, go and get yourself a gold timer, you'll probably get around 11 drops. Something like that, because I've had 11, and that's including a gold time, so the first four were just for completing it very quick. The other seven were for killing the enemies in the expedition. You run that, and then go and run a really long one, so something like Archways of Enoch, you go and run that and see how many drops you get. You'll get more because of the enemy types and the amount of enemies in the expedition. So I just wanted to do the video to clear that up and I'm going to leave it there. So let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments and I will see you in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed it.